Hi guys, it's Miss Shopslot, and I'm back with another haul. I hope you liked my last haul. Uh, I will be doing a couple more garage sale with me videos before garage sale season is up. We don't have a very long season, which is so unfortunate, but I do the best I can. This upcoming weekend is my birthday weekend, so I will be going Friday, Saturday, and possibly Sunday. And Thursday, if there's any, I am going to do a blowout birthday weekend. So, happy birthday to all the Leos in the house. Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to get into my haul. I got a lot of jewelry. So, we'll do, we'll get that second. So, first thing I bought, and I tell you guys all the time that I get the lotions and stuff from Bath & Body Works... This one I just like for myself. I like the Eucalyptus spe Spearmint stress, 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 stress Relief. And this was a quarter, so I picked this up. It's full. Uh, the next item was... So I'm in the middle. My daughter is moving tomorrow. And I'm kind of boxed into this one little tiny area until she's moved all her stuff out. So... Forgive me if you hear falling and crashing because I'm trying to, I'm trying to live, man. I'm trying to live. So <laughs> the next thing I got was these spin pin bobby pins. I heard these work awesome. These were a quarter. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. So I picked those up. Now let's get into the jewelry. One lady had, I'm talking tons and tons and tons of jewelry, all brand new, some vintage, uh, she had so much jewelry. I think she was a dealer or, you know, like a jewelry seller, but I don't know. She had a ton of jewelry. So I will get to the other jewelry that I found garage selling first. I uh, went with Princess Casserole, but I didn't get any footage this time when we went. So if you look at her videos, I will post her link down below. She may have some videos from the jewelry hauls. I'm not sure, but... The first one we went to, we both wound up buying some Juicy Couture. This is a Juicy Hot Cocoa mug with marshmallows. This was $3. Then I got this Juicy Couture charm bracelet. And this was, I believe these were either $1 or $2. Um, I got this Juicy Charm necklace. Sorry about that. Okay, so that was either a dollar, two dollars as well. Uh, this one was a dollar. I'm not sure what this is. It's it kind of looks like a belt, but it's Juicy Couture. That was a dollar. These were fifty cents. I'm not a huge fan of the whole uh, feather earring thing, but I thought these were kind of cute and would look cute in with my hair color. So those were 50 cents, and these, I don't remember if I got from that sale or not, but these were 50 cents. You know, like my big earrings, and these are cute with the wood and the gold. That one doesn't want to cooperate. So they look like this. At another garage sale, I picked up... Ooh, this Juicy Couture necklace for 50 cents. It has a little pin and then just a little fake diamond. It's dainty, it's cute. Uh, I picked up this bracelet. I don't know if it's silver or not because the part that goes there that would tell me is broken off. So I'm going to test it. I have a silver gold tester, so I'll test it. It was only, I think, a quarter, so no big deal. Uh, <clears throat> I got this Nolan Miller. I think it's Nolan Miller. Yes, Nolan Miller bracelet. Enamel, black flowers with the pearls. It's such a weird thing. But this was $4.00. Uh, these I bought 
were 50 cents a piece and they're Alex and Ani bracelets. They're a little tarnished, but I have bracelets that aren't to put the charms on. So I bought Alex and Ani bracelets that were missing the charms, but the bracelets were good. So I will just switch them over. Okay, now next, look at this. Oh, yes. So this is all, like I said, from one girl. I paid $27 total for all of it. And and she took PayPal. It was awesome. I talked her into it. She wasn't really sure. Oh, quick PayPal story. <clears throat> so I went to a garage sale the other day. And you'll see that in a different haul because I don't have enough room here. Uh, and I bought some stuff. And she had this, like, set up. With like Rebecca Minkoff and like expensive bags, but they were expensive. Like she wanted $175 for one. So and it, and she had a little sign that says, I take PayPal. And I was like, I was like, oh, that's funny that you take PayPal. I, I love when people do because then I can spend more money. And she's like, Well, actually, she was like, I sold a purse last year, and the girl asked me if I would take PayPal, and that's what got me started doing it. I was like, was it a black cane spade purse? She was like, yeah. I was like, that was me. She was like, oh my God, it was you. So yeah, so I got her into taking PayPal at her garage sales, which she had a really high prices. So I don't know if she's going to sell any of it, but <clears throat> she, uh, yeah. So don't be afraid to ask for PayPal. Like I asked the girl with the jewelry and at first she was hesitant, but I was like, you know, I was like, I'll send it friends and family. You don't have to worry about fees. You don't have to worry about <clears throat> me trying to, you know, later down the road, say, oh, she sold me fake jewelry or whatever the scams that they pull. So she did it and she was super excited. She even gave me a hug afterwards. <laughs> so it's really cool. I love meeting people. All right, so let's get into what I did get. So again, it's $27 for everything. It was like all the earrings were $2, the two bracelets were 5 and then she gave me one bracelet for 3 So because I bought so much. The first pair are these oh. earrings. I don't know. They say forty nine ninety nine. Fine silver plated. I don't know why they look so gray, the rhinestones, but they're actually blingy. Uh, the next pair are these bling tastic hoops. You know I love my hoops. And I love blingy hoops, so even better. These are uh, Lane Bryant. Blingy hoops. All silver. No gold. I got all silver, but that's okay because I have a lot of gold. Uh, these earrings from H&M. I think these are super pretty. And I don't know what it is that the glare is making my rhinestones look gray. But they're not. They're all shiny white. Um, these... I thought were super cute and big. These are all big earrings. No tiny earrings for me. These I love dangly, shiny earrings. I have ones that are bigger than these, and my husband laughs every time I wear them because when the wind hits them, they sound like wind chimes, like ting ling ling ding ding. <laughs> um, and this pair of blingy hoops. And then I got three bracelets from her. I got this one, which I love. Again, for whatever reason, they are looking gray, but they're actually really pretty shiny. So I got this one. Put that on while, while I'm doing this. Be fancy. Ooh, she fancy. Okay. <laughs> uh, the, the next one is this one which I thought was super pretty and again I'm not sure why it's coming off gray but this one and then last but not least from that haul was this bracelet which I think is super pretty it's from Avon and it's called the Proud Texan crisscross bracelet. So I thought that was pretty. Ooh. I don't know why it's a proud Texan, but 
that's what it says. So all that for $27. And I believe Princess Casserole spent $27 as well. Um, the next thing was from another garage sale. She charged me a dollar for this. It's Valentino. And it is a perfume lip gloss combo. I like these. Throw them in my purse. And then I always have lip gloss and I always have perfume in my purse. So that... <clears throat> um, my cousin went to got a storage unit and I helped him clean it out and he got let me pick what I wanted out of it. Uh so I got this for free. I thought it was pretty. I don't wear necklaces, especially not like that, but I may put it in a free gift or something. And this one. This is New York and Company, and the other one is Studio S. Okay, next I got these Tory Burch flip-flops for $5 at a garage sale. They are my size. They're in pretty good condition, just need to be wiped up a little bit, and they're good to go. She wasn't budging on those. I tried to get them lower, but... <clears throat> next, so I do trim my hair on my own sometimes, and I found this $1.98, and it is a... Somebody went to beauty school and donated their scissors. So this haul isn't going to have a ton of designer stuff, but I'm still showing whatever I got. So there's that. Uh, next was this leather lamb. I don't know what it is. I guess it's a wristlet or a clutch, odd shaped clutch. Let's see inside. There's some mystery pills in there see them. Mystery pills. Um, lamb leather was $1.99 half off. Has a little white spot there but I think I can get that out. Next another vintage coach which was $6. This I think I can bring back to life. It has some wear like that but I think with some black paint leather paint and some conditioner I can bring her back because the rest of it's pretty good condition. I mean, it's in really good. And the leather is just so nice on these bags. Okay, the next thing I got was this purse. And this was $6.98. And it is Jack George's. I actually found a leather uh, carry-on bag by him. And I looked it up and the carry-on was like $898. This is like, this, this was like $300. It's a uh, travel bag. It's kind of on the same lines as Tumi. T-U-M-I. And it is in really nice condition. $7. Beautiful leather. It does have a little bit of cracking on there, but nothing terrible. Uh, next I bought, I have not, I've only found, this is my second one ever finding. The other one was a large tote. And it is a Harvey seatbelt bag. And it's made of vintage seat belts. And it's in really good condition. I think it had a spot somewhere, but I don't see it. Inside is really good and clean. And this was $6. Then Bricks is another um, company that has really expensive luggage, which I found a travel bag of the... Uh, rolling bag of that and then I found this tote it's a nice uh, travel tote because it slides right over your luggage it's got nice leather handles canvas body and then inside has a detachable crossbody and this was $2.99 it's an excellent condition too uh, next I bought this fur hat I'm not sure what kind of fur it is. It's so incredibly soft. So incredibly soft. And this was $2.98. I'm baking in this room right now. <laughs> okay, next. I bought this because I just thought it was really pretty. At first, I thought this is Banana Republic, hands down. I can usually tell a bag before I even open it. 
it was three dollars. It is. It was half off too. It was a dollar fifty. It is not a Banana Republic. It is Liz Soto, and apparently it's a pretty expensive brand. So I picked that up. Uh, this bag is an Elliott Luca. It was six dollars. Six dollars. It's in really good condition. Um, oh. See, I didn't notice that. Dang it. It's no longer connected there. You know what I was thinking? I thought, because this is like brand new. I bet you that something happened in whatever store that it was being sold in. And that's why it's like that. It's still a cute bag. Still an Ali Aluka. Uh, it is gorgeous. It's got the gorgeous, these nice handles. So that was $6. And then I have these couple things over here left. I got this for $3.39. It's just a vase, but it looks blingy. I like it. The most amazing with an E, not an A, tree skirt ever. Look at this thing. Oh my God, is that not amazing? Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. It was a dollar at a, at a garage sale. I was like, oh my God, I have to. I have to, I have to. I mean, I could not, not leave. I couldn't leave that. No, who could leave that? Could you leave that? Oh my God, like, look at that. I think it's amazing. My daughter thinks it's hideous, but I love it, so that's all that matters. Okay. And last but not least, I got... Oh, wait. So, in the last video, I showed where I got all those little wallets for $3. I also... Alright, let's not try not to break this. Okay. I also got this one. This Dooney and Burke wristlet for three dollars. It has a little keychain in it. Little pocket for that. This was three, and then I got a GoPro wrist. I think this is a wrist strap. I can't imagine what else it could be. I don't. I don't know how you would carry that on your wrist, though. Like, what are you filming? I don't know. But that was two dollars. And then last but not least, oh gosh, Louis Vuitton. Is that Louis? No, it's not. It's Fooey. It's Fooey Louis. It was $5 at a garage sale, brand new. And it still even has the little feet covered and whatnot. It's huge. It is huge. Like, this is like a almost like a carry-on size but this is the inside it's a fooey but for five dollars I was like you know what I, I don't know if somebody's gonna want this and uh, yeah so I picked that up for five dollars brand new at a garage sale so I hope you like my garage sale hauls I'm so sad that I can't continue them very much longer because there's just not any and they will soon be none, so I will strictly be doing thrifting after that. But I am going to try to do some estate sales. I don't know. I got turned off a couple times because people are crazy. Um, and when I was younger, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't care. Like, you know, I'll, I'll push and if you want to push, we can push. Now I'm just like, is it really worth it? I'm so over it. So I'm going to try to do estate sales and see what happens, so... I'll do some videos of that as well. But I hope you like my videos. I hope you like what I've shown so far today. And I'm super pumped about my birthday and wearing some of that jewelry. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.